Hello everybody, my name is Ethan A. Poetic. This is my 13 year anniversary as a walking living miracle. I'd like to start off by thanking everybody for the support of my books, such as the hardcover, softcover, ebook, and the newly released audio version where I narrate the book myself from beginning, middle, and end. I'd like to thank all the people behind the scenes for helping me uh, become a better version of myself and stepping out outside my comfort zone. I like to thank God for allowing me to evolve into being somebody who went from being on a hospital bed with IVs in both my veins, skinny down to the pen, and just being in a vulnerable state where I had 99% chance of death versus 1% chance of living. And I made the most of that 1% by becoming a better version of Ethan. I legally changed my last name to Ethan A. Poetic in the summer of 2021 through Lancaster County Courthouse. Everything's approved. I just thought I'd add some closure to that and why I always say Ethan Poetic in all my posts. I like to thank my mentor, Bob Paul, who's been with me since 2020 uh, when I was a senior at Mills University, uh, teaching me new things in my business, life skills. And of course, learn how to become a better version of myself. I like to thank of Tyler Prep for uh, supporting me behind the scenes, along with the Veronis family, Kegel's Produce, Coastal Area School District, the School District of Lancaster, uh, many of the student athletes, certain staff members, coaches, booster club members. I like to thank everyone on social media for the likes, the comments. I just post things on there to not only promote my business, my brand, but also allow you to understand that life is more than social media posts. It's about adding different stories and impacts into people's lives on what we post on social media. Cause those things leave a cyber footprint and we all have a dash and what we're gonna be remembered for moving forward. I'd also like to thank anyone that I may not have mentioned by name who helped me out behind the scenes with stepping outside my comfort zone with starting my own business, writing a book, doing the audio version of my book and doing all the legal stuff and becoming more financially literate. I'd like to thank the Journeyman Podcast for allowing me to be here to do my 13 year anniversary speech here. Uh, been appreciated here all the time. Welcome. It's like that saying, uh, for those who are Puerto Rican, I miss with Puerto Rican, my casa, your casa. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's been always a fun time being here. I feel like I could be my more authentic self. No boundaries, no censorships. And for those who, certain students who may miss me being in their classrooms, playgrounds, I don't work for that company anymore because it's just time for me to evolve. It's not your fault. You're not responsible for the situation. It's just a situation where sometimes in life you outgrow certain places. And it's time to find a new space to grow because if you don't become stagnant in your growth, stop growing. We're growing and stepping outside my comfort zones requires me to be vulnerable again and being the first in my family with a lot of things, whether it's becoming award, awarded with the Award of Excellence from the State Capitol of Harrisburg, receiving two college degrees, receiving two Commonwealth citations, a proclamation declaration, and recently featured on 6 ABC Action News. Special shout out to Ateo, uh, Mateo. I'd like to thank Mrs. Kara Mayon, the teacher of Kings Highway Elementary School. I'd like to thank Dr. Bridget Miles for contacting the superintendent of Coastal Area School District. I'd like to thank the superintendent for allowing the television staff and me to do our interview there, inspire the third graders, inspire the faculty members. I'd like to thank the Secretaries at Coast Bell Area School District for allowing me to be myself and many others. Uh, this is my 13 year anniversary of the Welcome to the Miracle. The best is yet to come. 
and there's still more things for me to do in life. There's still more areas for me to grow. I just thought I'd let people know that all because someone uh, gains money does not make them a high quality person or a high quality man. What makes a high quality man is someone who's humble, willing to accept humility, willing to go through mentorship, get back to the community, inspire kids, and continue to break the mold of you can continue to evolve. And as for the opposite way around, what makes a high quality woman is being in her feminine self, having a mentor that's willing to show her the ropes on the proper way of dating, vetting, communicating with a guy, and many other things. Uh, other than that, I just use this time as a reflection point to thank everybody who's been involved in my life behind the scenes and on the front lines. Again, my name is Ethan A. Poetic, and my book is called The Inspirational Story of Ethan A. Poetic Chronicles of Adversities, Education, Sports, Relationships, and of course, Resiliency. Uh, if you want me to speak at your school, colleges, churches, events, corporate America, panel discussions, conferences, you may contact me on my website, ethanspeaks.com. Again, I value my services and my products. Serious inquiries only. Thank you very much, everybody.